It is a serious issue. What, what is a serious is issue? But do you want me to say something that I shouldn't say in court? Well, he wants his fundamental rights to be enforced in this country. There court. are everybody has fundamental rights in this country. But you take a including those, who, including those who on the streets you vilify. That's why we are here to resolve those issues. But all of them have come here in one spirit, which is that they abide by the integrity of you the... You cannot be a member of the Lok Sabha and be a member there without abiding by the constitution and, and an oath of office that I abide by the constitution of India. There is a speaker of the BJP who was present there when this allegedly happened. There are some people who asked him to say something which he did not say. Why do you want me to go into all this? No, please go into it. I have no difficulty. No, there is it is not part of the record. It has been withdrawn. It has been, it has been deleted from the record. That in all public speeches of petitioner number one, he supports separatist elements and other elements. Let him say he does not support secessionism and terrorism. No citizen of this country can have any objection in filing that appeal. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Sibel. May it please your Lordship. What we have said has been said. What the Chief Justice had to say has been said. We've heard both sides, I think, for 15 days, quite patiently. Maybe, maybe, not everybody can be heard in a situation. I mean, like, don't try to ever, don't try ever to browbeat the court. We'll uh, never try that with you. Either with the chief or with me, anybody, you try that. Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That's all. Yes, Mr. Thank Mr. Mr. Sibel. Next matter. Yes. Yes, Mr. Sibal. You're not appearing before. You're not appearing before a trial court. You're appearing before the Supreme please, Court. Yes. Yes. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Sibal. Now, Malas, uh, at the outset, I wish to state, Malas, that this case has been argued at several levels. And, Malas, most of them unsolicited without reference to the arguments made by us. I don't think anybody on this side challenged the sovereignty of India. Nobody on this side challenged the sovereignty of India. I, Malaj, at the outset stated that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India. They say your first, first petitioner has said something which are not in sync with... I am not people. concerned with that. If the first petitioner has said something, if he has said it, in what circumstances he says it, is it recorded? You ask him for an affidavit. I have nothing to do with the time. Yeah, no, there are two simple Hold on. Let's not, let's let's not take time on that. One second. Let's not take time on that. I am not standing for him for what he said if he said it. I am not here. Mr. Sibal, do, uh, do we take it that uh, Mr. Uh, Lone, therefore, unconditionally accepts Malad, the sovereignty of India and that Jammu and Kashmir Malad, is an he integral is a part member of, it. of parliament today. He has sworn to the constitution of India. He is a citizen of India. How can he, how can he say otherwise? And if anybody has said it, Malad, I, at my level, deprecate it. No, Malad, he, it, Malad, it is what's one the thing point for of, Mr. Sibal to deprecate. Let's not go into an issue. A litigant Malad, before your lordships, ask him to file an affidavit. Then I have nothing to do with it. No, no, but it's your client. You have to. Uh, ask Actually, I don't know. You, you are making an allegation. I don't know. Not support let, 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 terrorism. Let, let, let them reflect on it. If you don't let, mind, let, take it on on the pleadings. Ask him to file an affidavit. I may not appear for him. I don't know, Manoj. Don't Why am I? What have I? I am not to answer what what uh, an allegation that is made. Because is simple, when he invokes the jurisdiction of our court under Article 32 of the Constitution, he therefore necessarily. Uh, abides by and uh, owes allegiance to the constitution. And he's a member of the Lok Sabha. He is sworn to the constitution of India. He's a citizen of but India. An, how, how, how what, one second, Mr. Sibal. But, but that's an. <laughs> one second. That's a submission, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sibal. But we want to have it from him that he unconditionally accepts that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India and that he abides and owes uh, abides by and owes allegiance to the constitution of course so then and that that not he has sworn to it and he became a Mr. member Mr. of the Mr. lok sabha Mr. he swore to it mr sibal because then when you argue and you accept as far as sovereignty is concerned you accept the sovereignty of the, of course number one the people of india number two that jnk is integral part of india when you argue, your client says something outside the court, something different to it, there's well, contradiction. Well, still, and probably, still, probably then, he's also accepting there was an issue and a problem which had to be dealt well, with. 
If I start, Manoj, recounting no, I'm not saying what that. may have happened, clear on that. Manoj, it will unnecessarily lead only, Manoj, to a media coverage. Let, let us not go that route. We are arguing a pure constitutional issue. No, no, if, Manoj, there is a speaker of the BJP who was present there when this allegedly happened. There are some people who asked him to say something which he did not say. Why do you want me to go into all this? No, please go into it. I have no difficulty. Not, there is it an is not part of the record. Just it has been withdrawn. It. it has been it has been deleted from the record. It is said in the yeah, what about all this? It was said in the, the assembly. The BJP the speaker was there. It was speaker not of his party. The BJP speaker was there. He was asked to say something which people ask other people to say on the streets of this country. Why do you, why do we want to go into this? No, must, we would insist, Pallad. You must go in. Therefore, we accept. Of we course, but be, unconditionally. Uh, we proceed on the basis that he's willing to file an affidavit before our court saying that, well, he owes allegiance like every other Indian citizen to the Constitution of India and that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral of part course, of the Of course, first of all, aspect, Lord, I'm sorry for your interruption. You another me aspect, the I'm affidavit sure. mentions that in all public speeches of petitioner number yeah, one, he supports separatist elements and other elements. Let him say he does not support secessionism and terrorism. No citizen of this country can have any objection in filing that appeal. There's, there's another petitioner, Justice Masoodi. Please allow me to argue. No, that for Justice Masoodi. You want to take any action against the gentleman? Unfair. You take action. That's unfair to us. Please, please don't, 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 don't derail the, the, the a pure legal we'll submission. Hear it. We'll hear you for Mr. Lone as well. There's no difficulty. He wants to have it. He has come to our court. Uh, we, we are more than uh, duty bound to hear his uh, submissions. And we, were, we are in the course of hearing his submissions. All that we want to say is like everyone else here, because we have had people from across the political spectrum in Jammu and Kashmir who have presented rival viewpoints before us, different perspectives, uh, which is welcome. That's why we are here to resolve those issues. But all of them have come here in one spirit, which is that they abide by the integrity of you the... You cannot be a member of the Lok Sabha and be a member there without abiding by the constitution and, and an oath of office that I abide by the constitution of India. He has to take that oath before he is, because he enters the Lok Sabha as we all do. That, that's what and there's an affidavit filed there, Malaz. How can, how can that be? But be that as it may, Malaz, I did not know of this fact till this morning somebody asked him Malaz. to file a short affidavit before it's a one-page affidavit. That's all that is Malaz. necessary. Malaz. We are giving a copy to Mr. Sibyl's client. Malaz. We'll give the affidavit. There is no, there is then no then question, Malaz. Malaz. I would not stand here. If he doesn't give it, I would not stand here arguing for him. So before we close the argument yeah. tomorrow, just ask him to file a one-page affidavit. That's yeah, all that we have yes, taken on this. I request Mr. To... Sibyl to insist to his client that no citizen would have any objection in saying that I do not support terrorism yes. and separatist uh, activity. Let him say that. Right. Or say what that I will all, not all say this. this. What Let is all clear. What is all this? Which he is supporting. What is all this? Yes, well, we will certainly, Malaj. I am uh, sure Mr. Sibyl will. will, will. So, we will convey yes. this to him and he will file a yes. short yes. affidavit. Yes. I, had yes. I known yes. this, I would yes. have myself. Yes. What affidavit? Anyway, will you allow me? Tomorrow, sir? it's not 2 30. Once Half yes. an hour is yes, lost Mr. just on this. Mr. Sibyl, yes. No, it's not just on this, Malaj. It is a serious issue. What, what is a serious issue? But do you want me to say something that I shouldn't say in court? Well, he wants his fundamental rights to be enforced in this There country. are everybody has fundamental rights in this country. But you take a including those who, including those who on the streets you vilify. They are also wrong. But so then that's all right. Then you should apologize for them. All right. Yes, Mr. So Mr. let's not let's not let me argue the case, please. Uh, Mr. Sir, let me let me the case, sir. Mr. Sir, sir, we have indicated uh, to Mr. You're watching the meeting now. Open the argument. I made a commitment that there will be an yes, affidavit. Mr. Bell, you open the argument now. Yes, please. So, Malas, this case has been argued at different levels. Yes. And Malas, I was somewhat pained when one counsel argued that we respect the sentiments of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. But you must also respect our sentiments. Now, Malas, I, I, I think that we cannot reduce this case to an emotive majoritarian interpretation of the Constitution of India. Malas, all residents in Jammu and Kashmir are citizens of India. They are as much a part of India as anybody else. If historically there is an article of the constitution that gives them certain rights, Mullahs, they are entitled to defend that as a matter of law. 
Yes. That those rights may be taken away, may not be taken away constitutionally or without reference to the constitution is another matter. But to say that you must respect our sentiments as if they are somebody else itself is creating a kind of chasm that shouldn't be created, especially in court. That's number one. Number two, Malats, and I adopt Mr. Salve's argument that we are concerned with the interpretation of 370. Read the text, understand the context, and interpret 370. I entirely agree with that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do before your lordships. Number three, Malat, if you look at the history of India in that, in that context, Malat, you will find that Jammu and Kashmir had no links with the rest of India, geographically. No links. No part of the territory of Jammu and Kashmir was linked to the rest of India. And the two principles on the basis of which accession had to take place was contiguity. You have to be contiguous. That's how Malas, states like Junagar, Hyderabad, many other states which are internally, which were within India, could never accede to Pakistan because that principle could not be established. So you had to have integrity, contiguity, and you had to have population. These were the two principles. And the decision, the third, was to be taken by the ruler. These were the three principles on the basis of which accession took place. 